subscribe to my channels. Guys, it's been a while since I showed my love birds. <laughs> Actually, I had them in about three cages. A lot of the babies and stuff was placed in these other two cages here. So I decided to put everything in this big cage. If I remember correctly, this cage is about seven feet high. Seven feet high, about eight feet long and about I'm looking at it here, um, probably three and a half feet wide. Right in breeding, of course, most of them is um, I hardly have yellow ones, which is the nicer ones. Every time I sell them, everybody wants the yellow ones. <laughs> so um, I have more of the blue and stuff, but I've not been able to sell any. The guy who was taking them. The pet shop for whatever reasons only known to them <laughs> they stop taking it that happens i've really gone out trying to um, you know find another pet shop to buy it was a hobby it is a hobby so i kept them um i have one box i would either take out all the breeding boxes i have one box here i have two babies in there I threw, I did throw away all the eggs and stuff, so I'm giving them a break from breeding. And plus, the, a lot of the younger ones, which are now mature, they haven't been able to get any breeding set up at all. So, what I'm doing is, um, this is actually some of the egg food that the babies eat and the adults eat. Um, So essentially I have them, they all in one cage, it's about, so the breeding set was 12 birds, 6 pairs, and then each of the, young, the cages where young ones went in, I had about 28 young ones, and then I actually left young ones in here from the breeding pair. I estimate anywhere between 60 to 70 birds in this cage right now. Now I did have a, I do have a mice problem, but that's been resolved um, this week by Monday, Tuesday. Today is I think the 17th, Sunday 17th December or somewhere around there. Sunday 17th, yeah, possibly. Um, right. I have a mice problem in here. Again, because it's my back porch, it's a lively place for food. But the problem I had is the gates. So the gates is um, easy to access. Those mice would come through there, so they set up shop. They destroyed my my dryer. My dryer is like a hotel for them. I mean, this is a very my a whirlpool cabri cabrio dryer and washer. These guys gone in my dryer, short down the wires. Now this happened some time now, eh? But you wouldn't believe I just couldn't find a, a proper uh, well, welder. Um, I finally found on it another project I'm doing. So I decided before Christmas I'm going to finally get this mice problem solved. So what I'm doing is um, he's going to bring in the gates either tomorrow, Monday or Tuesday to install the two gates. And when he comes in and does that installation, this hotel that they're living in, that dryer will now be thrown away. Yes, I did try to get the dryer fixed. The, the entity I bought it from court, they said they, they don't have the, they can't fix it. You know, these guys, they know how to sell you, they can't, they can't solve any problem. But that's just the reality. So, I didn't even get, but the dryer is a real good dryer. As a matter of fact, the technician told me the newer ones they bring it in is not even as good as this one. So, anyway, I, yeah, I was without a dryer for some time. That's crazy. But as I said, I got a real good welder. He's um, organizing. And 
my Tuesday latest. I'll be back to normal and I'll be able to get rid of all these mice once and for all. If, and you know, interestingly, I can notice area here moved out all the birds in this one cage setup. And you know, I, I didn't see any mice. Now there was something else I did. Now these birds eat these fine seeds. Right, I haven't set back up this cage yet because I have to put in branches and a lot of things. I'll show you all an update of it another time. But yeah, it's just a sunflower seed that those mice really love. So I actually stop feeding these birds that sunflower seed um, until I sort this situation out. Um, so that sunflower seed, I don't know if that's why I'm hardly seeing any um any mice but the truth is i didn't see a lot of mice since i cleaned out here i have no water on the line um, i'll have to mop out here later clean out the tiles and stuff and um then i'll get rid of this dryer and that's a go guy guys cyclic fun update um Really interesting stuff. So I observe my green terrors acting very territorial around this area here where this plant pot is on this brick. Now I'm seeing a yellow lab swimming inside of the, the pot. Now they carry eggs in the mouth, so I am out brood. I don't know what he's doing inside this pot. Of course the green terrors and the they're going to release fry, lay eggs, fry will hatch and they're going to take care of that fry. So the green terror female was protecting this area up to yesterday. It was being very aggressive protecting the zone. But as of this morning I'm not seeing them down in this area. And everything that they were chasing out of this area is now operating is now operating as if it's free territory here so I guess if they were protecting any fry or laid any eggs or anything here comes the male here comes the male I don't know if you can see there's a lot of reflection um, so yeah the female is no longer protecting there it would seem so I guess they called off that um, that mission for now we're probably trying to find a different area here I see that I have um, two females and one male the female is a, a bit smaller um, I don't know if you've seen it, but that's the female there. Yeah, but she's no, well, at least one of the females, she's no longer protecting anything or being territorial about anything. Now, when I was doing my research as well, the green terror, fry will, they'll take about three days before they start to swim on their own. So, um, at this point, I think, she aborted whatever eggs or because I mean with this spot it's going to be kind of hard to manage that now I was also watching another video with um, the front and breeding size and stuff now I have about three front toasters and I've observed breeding behavior with them there was this guy on YouTube I was watching his video where he had an aquarium tank and there was a lot of breeding activity in his tank and he had a lot of frontosas I didn't get to really see the size of the parents but it was interesting how easy those frontosas were breeding in his in his aquarium glass tank looked like it looked like a fairly big tank and he had like about 30 I think he said about 60 something young ones that reason up were reasonably sized so you know based on that I'm hopeful that um, these front toasters could breed in here because they are more brooders also. I just saw um, the green terror go back in the same area that is protecting the female. 
I don't know if you guys could see it here. See, based on the time of the day, it's kind of hard to see. See clearly. Okay, a fish now went in the pot there, what? Right? That, that's the yellow lab. Why is he keep going in there? Yeah, the female, the female green para circling the area. I guess it can guard the area 100 for 100 percent as the male. So they're still somewhat in the area. So I'm not sure if they have the babies there still or, or what is going on, but. See how that goes. Guys, this koi, the biggest koi I have as a coach on the eye. I mean, what's the odds of that? And the shark to damage his head as he's starting to fix back and heal back nicely. Um, my UV light is still not working, so I wanted to get the. I don't know if you could see the bust, right? The bust on the shark head there, but it's, it's, it was protruding and all of that. It was already taking shape clearly for the healing, for the healing stage. And you almost damage his eyes too. His eye, it's the actual uh, left eye and head where he busted his head. Um, he almost damaged the eye, but fortunately he didn't get damaged, and he had his healing back. Uh, so this koi with this with this eye with this boat, I don't know guys. I mean, what's the odds of that? The biggest koi, the biggest one of the koi I have with, with that boat. You, know, you always want to have this fish to the picture, but sometimes that's just how it is. Sometimes it's just not going to be perfect. As for the shark, this is the biggest black one. He's in perfection. He's not as skittish as the albino. This is the second biggest black one. I kind of kept wondering if it's if I could pull that and pull out that fleshy piece that's growing on the eye of the koi but the next thing I try to pull it out it's a growth and the whole eyeball is attached or cut it out or oh man and you see we don't have vets or anything here to see that I could you know have come and do that I don't see things about these fish but I'm okay with the impure in, imperfections. Um, you know, it is what it is. Get up, it will fly away. Hummingbird.
and then there was no more melon. <laughs> when I place this melon in here, they were acting like they couldn't remember eating it because it's a while I haven't given them melon. Sometimes you still need to use a plastic weld for the UV light system. When I saw it, but I saw something else, they said plastic, smart adhesive, hard plastic, clear glue. Ultra strong, rigid plastic, long lasting bond for rigid plastic, acrylic, PVC, hard plastic. Um, Basically, simple instructions, quick dry and water resistant, perfect for rigid plastic including acrylics on PVC now. The plastic weld, when I look at the application, it was saying um, aluminum and steel and Aluminum and steel and stuff. And this here is plastic. And when I was reading how to use this at um put on both sides of the plastic side, so cut off a piece of plastic from a source pan for flowering. Kind of hot. Put glue on that side, I put glue on this. When I leave it alone, see what happens. I cut it out from this source pan here. So you see Lemo 8, Daisy 30th of December 2023. I'm gonna leave that there. How long is it to leave it for? I'm not picking up the clear, so basically it's saying to apply the two services after you put the glue on it for one minute and then leave for approximately 12 hours. So you see what's going on. Subscribe to my channels.